One more time. Preparations are underway for Parliament's return and the Conservative leader is already spoiling for a fight. After eight years of Justin Trudeau, everything costs more, work doesn't pay, housing costs have doubled. Pierre Polyev has been hammering the government all summer. It's paid off. Poll aggregator 338 Canada has the Conservatives up nine points nationwide over the governing Liberals. With numbers like that, Polyev staying laser focused on affordability touting a bill that rewards federal cash to communities that build more homes. My plan says to the cities, I don't care how you do it, just do it. The government house leader says they will respond to Polyev's pointed criticism. So our focus is really going to be about affordability and public safety. And the deputy prime minister is trying to knock the Tory leader down a peg. They positively relish leaning into the gloom, don't they? Their everything is broken pitch can be seductive. But there's an acknowledgement that they need to do more, particularly on housing. We need to build homes at a speed and scale not seen in Canada since those golden days of the greatest generation. Meanwhile, the NDP leader says the Liberals have been soft on Canada's grocery giants. Jagmeet Singh blames them for high food prices. Greedy CEOs have driven up the cost of food, which is hurting Canadians. While the Liberals have continued to delay and disappoint. He'll introduce a new bill Monday that, if passed, would slap fines on price gougers. I'm fighting with everything I have to bring down the price of groceries. The government is demanding the CEOs of the largest grocery chains appear in Ottawa this week. Retailers insist there's nothing more they can do. They say it's suppliers that are driving inflation. But with the opposition nipping at the government's heels, the Liberals want to be seen as doing something. J.P. Tasker, CBC News, Ottawa. For more on what's in store this fall in Parliament, we're joined by CBC News Chief Political Correspondent Rosemary Barton. And looking ahead, Rosie, what tone are you expecting? Well, Ian, the Liberals uh, left the House pretty battered, as you remember, by that foreign interference issue. And the summer didn't really improve things for them. Pierre Poiliev has really seized the agenda on those issues of affordability and housing. And he's made some real headway in convincing Canadians he can do better than Justin Trudeau. So the dynamic has shifted. And I think you'll see that in the House of Commons tomorrow when the two leaders go head to head in question period. Poiliev has worked really hard to soften his image over the summer. The question is, can he maintain that in question period when the rhetoric rhetoric gets really heated. The government's obviously under pressure to do more, but it took a long time and some pretty disappointing polls for the Liberals to respond to some of these issues. And there are ongoing questions about why that is. And what about on the issues? What are you going to be looking for? Well, I think as we talked about affordability, certainly, and public safety, those are two areas of vulnerability for the Liberals. The reform of the bail system is the first order on the agenda. The Liberals also have to keep that supply and confidence deal with the NDP on track. The beginnings of pharmacare has to be done by the end of the year. And the NDP leader has also signaled he has more asks for the government and wants to renegotiate that deal. So there are challenges coming from all sides. What could help them? Time. Remember, that election still technically two years away. Rosemary Barton live in the morning and on the National at night. Uh, nice talking to you. Thanks, Ian.